Okay, so let's first look at how our data set actually looks like. Let's look at the first five rows of our data set. So that's essentially a bio data comprising of age, work class, education, and so on. So let's look at the unique values of native country. Let's just list down what are the unique values we have. So these are all the countries in our data set. So now we want to keep only those rows which have some specific countries that we are going to explicitly specify here. So we are going to make use of is in method. So you take the data set first uh, that you are working on, uh, take that column so it's the native country in our case dot is in so native country is in and we are going to specify uh, some values here for the countries that we want to see the data for um, and let's take a third value as well so that's a Greece now if we try to execute the statement and let's see how our first five rows essentially looks like okay so we are not getting any kind of data underneath it because as you can see in the unique values we have some kind of space before the country so it's going to count that as well so yes france say or peru um, and space peru is different so let's just copy paste the values and even for the Greece as well and now after that fix let's execute it again and now we can see we have some rows under the data set one frame so now if we see native country dot unique so we will be able to see just three values so that's we wanted to filter on so that's how you use the is in you can use it for the values for the values in another data frame um, accordingly okay so now let's see how we can use is in to actually discard those values that's the negation of is in in order to do that you have to just specify the tilde um here in front of the adult data set and where you are subsetting that it's going to be native country as you can see so now let's look at uh, the unique values that we have got for the data set 2 where we have actually specified that we don't want countries which have values united states cuba and jamaica and if we just look at the unique values so here uh, in our original data set we have united states and all those things uh, in the first line but here we are not able to find it so we have successfully filtered out those rows which had the countries united states cuba and jamaica that's it for this video thank you for watching